Sonos has been on a tear over the last few years, busy updating speakers and adding lots of new products. The most recent is the Sonos Roam. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I recently got a sample unit here to test out and review for myself. I'll tell you how it works, what it's best for, and if I recommend it for you. And early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and do subscribe because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's take a look at what you're getting here. Sonos Roam is a small wireless portable speaker option that Sonos wants you to take with you in the yard or camping or RVing or otherwise on the go. It can be used horizontally or vertically and Roam can be controlled with the Sonos app or using the subtle but easy to locate buttons on the top. If you're familiar with the Sonos Move, think of the Roam here as a more compact and properly portable version. If you're not familiar with Sonos already, the Roam is meant to be a higher fidelity Bluetooth and Wi-Fi speaker that's designed for bringing with you on adventures, something that the Move is not really meant to do. That is meant to stay more in your yard or close to its charging base. Roam here has a more accessible price tag than the Move as well, positioning it as an attractive entry point to those looking to get into Sonos or who want to expand their Sonos ecosystem. Roam has been designed to be smaller than a water bottle and it weighs less than a pound, making it ideal for chucking in a bag and bringing with you. Though it actually looks pretty sleek and chic, Sonos says it's also rugged. Existing Sonos users will know most of the company's current speaker lineup are a lot more delicate and designed really for indoor use. Roam here is IP67 waterproof rated, meaning that it can adapt to almost any outdoor situation, from a hike to a pool party. Sonos says it can be held under three feet of water for up to 30 minutes without impacting the sound. Naturally, I decided to test it. I doused the Roam in my sink multiple times, and by the way, this speaker does not float, so consider that if you're wanting to take it on a boat or to the lake. But it never stopped playing when I fished it out of the drink, and it spit the water out and kept right on rocking. Naturally, the main thing we're going to be concerned about when it comes to a speaker like this is the audio quality. And the Sonos Roam does deliver on the audio quality. Roam is super small, but definitely has power. It sounds a lot bigger than it is. Sitting next to it, 50% volume was more than enough indoors. In a bigger open space, it's also surprisingly able to fill that space even at that same 50% volume level. The quality is quite good. The speaker is well-tuned and it's possible to hear a lot of intricacies in the music. There's a lot of warmth to the sound, the vocals sound great, and the music overall sounds really well balanced, which is possibly no surprise. Sonos invests a lot in its speakers, so I'm not at all surprised that I like the sound of this one. Outdoors, you will obviously need more volume the further you are away from it, but it seems like it's able to dial up the right amount of power. Here I've got it on 50% volume, so I do have lots of room to crank it up louder if I want to. Sonos sound systems are known for their more reliable Wi-Fi connectivity, which lets you connect a vast network of speakers around your home and easily control the whole system via your mobile device. With a portable speaker, Wi-Fi obviously isn't always an option, so the Roam here has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5 connectivity. This means that you can integrate it into your existing network of Sonos speakers and control it seamlessly using the Wi-Fi connection when you are at home. As well, you can connect it to a phone or a tablet just using Bluetooth if you're on the move. Sonos Roam adds some new features to this portable design, and they make it better for sharing music if you're gathered with friends. There's Group Plus Swap and Automatic Switching. Now, Group Plus Swap, or Group and Swap, allows you to switch your music back and forth between Roam and the rest of your Sonos system by detecting where you are and letting you move your music to the nearest speaker. Since I had only the Roam here, I wasn't able to test out this feature. Now, automatic switching is another feature of the Roam that means it will seamlessly switch from your Wi-Fi network to a Bluetooth connection on your phone and vice versa when you're on the go, so you don't have to do it manually. 
are the songwriters and producers behind some this I was able to test out by starting my music on Wi-Fi in the house then walking away from the house and going down the street true to its word Sono stayed connected and kept right on playing moving from Wi-Fi onto Bluetooth Sonos TruePlay software is a digital optimization feature that's able to tune speakers to the unique acoustics of the room that it's in, or to an outdoor space in this case. Normally TruePlay uses your iPhone, and for now it's available only for iPhone users. And it will listen to the room's acoustics and then fine tune the speaker's output to make it perfect, I guess. With the Roam here, because it's designed to play in a lot of different environments, both indoors and outdoors, this happens automatically. Did I notice a difference? It's hard to say since it happens automatically. I couldn't really see how to shut it off to check how it sounds without the true play. Outdoors, I'd say if there is a difference in that tuning, it's lost to my ears out here. Rome will also work with your digital assistants and voice control. Inside it's got three built-in microphones so that each of those assistants can hear you and respond. To get them set up, you'll follow the specific instructions for whichever assistant you have. In my case, I use the A-Lady. It is a bit of a process that's probably best for another video if you guys want that, but you do have to link things inside the Sonos app and then enable the Sonos skill in the Alexa app, and then finally you'll ask her to discover devices. Important to note that if you want to use your speaker as a digital assistant and to play music with your voice, you also do need to set up your default music preferences in both the Sonos and the Alexa apps. Rome has 10 hours of battery life from one charge, but in my tests I got just under 10 hours playing the music at a barely audible level. 10 hours is not a lot for a portable wireless speaker in my opinion, particularly when other portable models can give you 20 hours or more, so for me this is a pretty big downside. When it comes to charging, you can either use the 90 degree USB-C cable that's included with the speaker or purchase the optional wireless charging base. Sonos also claims it has smart power saving features that mean it'll stay in standby mode for up to 10 days. I though was not seeing that. If I forgot to power it right off, it died on me in about two days. Searching online for a solution, I saw others are having this issue too. Overall, it's nice Sonos has been listening to its customers who've been asking for a great sounding portable unit that can safely leave the house. And the Sonos Roam checks a lot of boxes for a portable speaker. While the sound quality is great and it's super portable and compact, not to mention it's really waterproof, it does have some significant pluses, but it's not without its downsides. Mainly that the speaker doesn't float and the battery life is on the shorter side. Bottom line, if you are insisting on a Sonos speaker, the Roam is your best choice for a portable option. If you're not brand loyal, you can probably find other great sounding speakers with longer battery life that float and may be more durable. Sonos Roam here sells for about 229 Canadian or 169 US and is available from Sonos, Amazon, and a host of other retailers. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about the Roam here, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.